San Francisco Hall of Famer, Willie McCovey. This is the question I posed to Willie McCovey. You're the manager of the other team in a tie game with two outs and nobody on in the ninth. The batter is Willie McCovey. Now, before I could finish, Willie broke in, I'd walk him. Then he laughed. It's really no laughing matter to the San Francisco Giants slugging first baseman, however, because a lot of the other managers would do the same thing. From Robert Marcus, Baseball Digest, 1971. Willie McCovey would have an outstanding career, playing in over 2,500 games, over 8,000 at-bats, 2,200-plus hits, and 521 home runs. He would finish his career with 1,555 RBIs, and even though he wasn't known as a speedster, he would have 26 stolen bases. No doubt he belonged in the Baseball Hall of Fame. He would play a couple seasons with San Diego and one season with Oakland before returning back to the Giants in 1977 to finish his career in 1980. He would win many awards in his career. He was a six-time All-Star. He was MVP one time, Rookie of the Year, and the All-Star Game MVP too. Let's take a look back at the wonderful, illustrious career of one Willie McCovey. Just a sweeping swing to belt 521 home runs, one of the top marks among left-handed hitters in Major League history. McCovey's 18 grand slams rank him near the best of all time. He led the NL in home runs three times and in RBIs twice. Stretch was named the National League's Rookie of the Year in 1959, MVP in 1969, and Comeback Player of the Year in 1977. McCovey was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1986. And when I think of the number 44 in baseball, two players come to mind. Reggie Jackson and Willie McCovey. And of course, Willie McCovey is in Perfect Team 23, he has a peak 100 rated perfect card and currently is one of the best cards in the game. And yes, he is a member of our Rocky Mountain Gladiators. McCovey has been a member of the team since the 2034 season and played his entire career here. And no doubt he's going to catch up to his real life stats soon. He currently has over 850 hits, 178 home runs, 20.9 war, and currently this season having his career high hitting 345. And welcome to Simulation Gaming Digital Realities Perfect Draft 23 Genesis Series. I hope you enjoy the episode. Here we are back for another episode. Did you enjoy that spotlight? Yeah, love going over these old time players and reliving some of the, you know, accomplishments that they had when they played the game. And playing OOTP really allows us to immerse ourselves back in historical baseball. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is Tuesday afternoon. This episode will take us all the way to the end of Thursday, and our last segment will be the revealing of the new cards this week, the Roberto Clemente week, and players that have won the Roberto Clemente Award apparently are going to be the new cards in packs on Thursday night. But hey, it's only Tuesday right now, so we got to couple segments to get through first this is episode 52 52 kind of a significant number right there's 52 weeks in a year there's 52 cards in a deck maybe when we pull some packs later we're gonna get something special for episode 52 also want to remind you that i am going to make the move to twitch streaming yes 
I'm going to start doing some live streaming probably by the beginning of October. I haven't decided the series that I'm going to do yet. If I'm going to continue streaming Gladiator or if I'm going to come up with something new. If you have any ideas for a series that you think would be cool and immersive and allow people to, you know, watch and, and feel involved in the game, leave a comment, let me know. And OOTP has notified me that they are going to provide me with drops for my live streams. If you watch Twitch live streamers, some games give drops, which means you get special accomplishments or rewards. In this case, it will be a pack, a regular pack of cards for your team for the time that you watch my live stream. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, OOTP, for taking me on as one of your Twitch partners. And again, as we get closer to my first stream, I will update you on my YouTube video. But hey, we're still a couple weeks away from that. I have to come up with an idea for what series I want to flow with. Well, here we are in Gold 301 and the Gladiators. How do you think we're doing? It is May the 12th, 2040. Gold, we should be doing okay, right? We should be doing pretty good. Let's check it out. Haven't checked it out in a while. We are, hey, in first place, a 28 and 11 record. We are crushing the league so far. The only team above 500 in our division, a 718 win percentage. And overall, we are second. A couple games behind the Erie Sea Wolves. I recognize that logo in some tournaments that I play. And yeah, I'd say we are on pace to make the playoffs and hopefully bring home our second championship in gold. Pitching staff. All doing extremely well. Our starters, Jim McCormick, 5-1, relatively a new gladiator. We have Mark Pryor at 3-0. and And our bullpen is all under a 4 ERA. Hitters, you can see kind of how they're doing. They're kind of all over the place. Uh, Joe Tinker in a relief role, doing really good. Richie Ashburn, uh, Willie McCovey. Joe Maurer, I did make some changes. Remember I said at the end of last episode, changes are coming and I was going to try something different. Seems to be working. This is what I did. So first of all, with the ballpark, remember on Sundays, you can customize your ballpark for the new league that week. And what I decided to do is go lefty, almost all cheese, not quite but really emphasize the average for the left-hand batters, the home runs for the left-hand batters, minimize the home runs for the right-hand batters, and almost minimize completely the average for the right-hand batters. Plus, I maxed out the extra base hits. And like I said, it seems to be working. So that means for the lineup, I had to try and come up with as many left-hand batters to take advantage of these park settings. So I brought back George Sisler, who's a lefty, and he's hitting, you know, 291 so far. So he's doing what I would hope he would do. Who else did I? We have Frank Baker, who I won in a tournament a couple seasons ago. He's hitting 342. He's having a really good season. And I brought back the all-star Ted Williams just recently. He hasn't played much this season, but I want to maximize his home run threat. He is a huge home run hitter against the righty pitchers. So obviously, as a left-hand bat, with my ballpark at 1.10 for lefties, I wanted to see if I could take advantage of that. That means we are going to lose a little bit of productivity out of Hank Aaron, which we see 225, because again, I've minimized home runs for righties, and uh, also for Paul Hines, who is playing really well for us. He's not playing well now. He's under one for an ERA, because again, the right-handed batters are going to suffer in my ballpark. They should do okay on the road, especially if it's a righty cheese park. But for my park, 
I decided to focus on the left-handed batters. And like I said, I'm going to lose some productivity in some big names, but I'm going to gain it, hopefully, in other areas. And that's working out so far. We've got a 28 and 11 record. I think that's all I wanted to show you in this segment here, just to kind of give you an update on the channel and heading over to Twitch, plus touch to show you the, the new settings for Gold 301 for the Gladiators. But like I said, let's see if we can hit some quality packs here. Let's see if we can hit some of those Negro League 2 players, especially the Diamonds. And yeah, cool. Start off with a gold right off the bat. And we hit a... I like it. I usually get the live golds. Here is a reliever. Not really good with the stuff. If that could have been a little higher, I might be able to use them. But Aaron Slayers, what is he selling for? Not a lot. About 2,500 perfect points. Is he a duplicate? Yes, he is. So let's put him on the market now. Let's see if we can get $24.99. Okay, give me perfect points. Let's open a few more. Off to that good start. I want the Negro League players. Another gold, two packs. Or three packs, two gold, this time alive. This Thursday, they're also going to announce new missions for the Platinum 2 cards. So you might want to start getting some of those Platinum 2 cards to get the toppers. They're usually pretty good. I think the Platinum 1 topper was Jerry Royce. I think he was the guy and he's one of the best pitchers in the game right now. All right, there is a Platinum 2 card. It is a duplicate. The prices on these are going to start going up. So I'm going to hang on to it for now. I kind of like to hoard my duplicates. Third gold. What do we got? Our second live player this time. Okay. Keep on going. I want to get at least one of the Negro League players. Not these live garbage. The faceless garbage. Come on. Two faceless guys that are not really good. And now I get all live. That's... You know, a pretty good golf score. Very low. Got the lowest possible bronze you can in a pack. Again, a lot of live players, faceless players. Two more faceless players. We'll give it uh, maybe three or four more packs. Future legend. Good to see. A few more bronze. Another, this time a silver. What's he selling for? Yeah, about 2,500. Let's put him on the market. Because again, new mission toppers coming out on Thursday. I think I can sell him. Pretty sure he'll sell fairly quickly. Being the lowest one listed. All right, we're going to go three more packs. Want to get one Negro player. There we are, a Negro 2 player. Going to put him on the market for 333. He should sell as it's a relatively new card. And two more. We're going to hit a diamond. Let's go for an 85 live gold in the bottom left corner. Here we go. What do we got? We have a. Well, the bottom left corner was the best card. Fortunately, it was a bronze. All right, that is it for this segment. We'll check in in a day or so and see how our gladiators are faring. Can they stay in first? Stay tuned. You'll find out soon. Let's do this a short Friday. Is it Friday? No, it's not Friday. Sorry, just teasing you. Unless you're watching this on Friday, then happy Friday. <laughs> but right now I'm recording this on Wednesday. So happy hump day. Just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of where the gladiators are almost at the end of the Wednesday Sims. We are in gold 301. And sometimes it's like, uh, you know, when a big kid joins a little kid's hockey team, and kind of dominates. I feel that's where the gladiators are right now. 
because we are 57 and 17. We're nine and one in the last 10 games. We've won nine in a row. We are, unless something catastrophic happens, we are going to make the playoffs. And currently we are four games above the second place team. Last look in, we were second place. Now we are first. So things are going extremely well in gold 301. Now that doesn't mean we're gonna win a championship because Again, OOTP likes to reward wildcard teams. And uh, the top dogs sometimes get knocked off, but sometimes they, they, you know, do what they should do on paper and they do win. But let's take a look at our team. Where are we in terms of pitching? Look at that. How lovely is that? 9-0, and 9-1, oh, nine 9-2. And, and, and a new acquisition. Do you see it? It's kind of obvious when you look at the pitchers. But I did buy on the card shop one Randy Johnson. I picked him up for about 111,000 perfect points. So if that was you that listed him, thank you. I have heard that he's a pretty good pitcher. And right now there are none on the card shop. So it seems like he is a hard card to come by. And people are willing to pay at least 90,000 for him. But since there was only one listed, I paid the asking price. I didn't want to kind of mess around. I did want to pick him up. I needed another left-hand pitcher, and I can't afford some of the top dogs. So I figured, hey, he's supposed to be pretty good. I like his ratings. Of course, there are a couple other Randy Johnsons in the game, but this one should be the better of them. Is a fly ball pitcher, but I am confident in my outfield. Got Larry Walker, Paul Hines, Hank Aaron. So I am confident that I have a good defensive outfield to handle those. Also have Richie Ashburn as a center fielder too. So yeah, I'm confident. He hasn't had his first start yet. I picked him up yesterday. I thought I put him in the lineup, but I just threw him in now. So he's due to get his first start next game. Otherwise, our bullpen is doing really well. I picked up Emmanuel Clace. I don't know if I had him last segment because uh, that was like a day or two ago. I can't remember if I had him, but I picked him up again on the recommendation of some of the uh, players in the uh, Discord, and he's done really well. He's got an ERA of about 1.6-ish with three saves. So he is one of the live players that does well all the way up to diamond. And there are some perfect teams in the perfect league that use him too. I would say he and AJ Minter are probably the top two relievers, live relievers. Not many other live players that will do well in those top leagues. So in terms of our hitters, uh, I don't think I picked up anyone else since the last segment. I did bring back Ted Williams, as I'd mentioned. And I wanted the pop in his bat. And he has 13 home runs in 23 games. I'd say that was probably a pretty wise decision in this lefty slanted ballpark. So yes, our hitters are doing well, except for our righties, Paul Hines. But I want him mainly for the defense. And uh, Hank Aaron hitting only 219. But I want him for the home runs. He's got 13 and uh, for the uh, defense in left field. Okay, that's about all I wanted to do. There are a couple limited edition cards in the game now. Uh, one of them is, I believe it is Sean Green. Let's see if I can find him quickly. There are a hundred of his cards in the game. You might want to try and pull that card, especially if you're in the lower levels. He would not fit on the Gladiators right now. There's no one that he would replace. And the other one that was just added today, the day I'm recording this, is Baby Doll Jackson. Historical player from 1920 from the Browns. He might play on the Gladiators. If I was to get him in a pack, I would probably throw him in just to see how he would do. Uh, but again, he's going for a pretty hefty price for a gold player, 75000 But not many have probably been pulled yet. Speaking of packs and players, 
Let's go through and let's pull 11 of them, see what we can get. That's a Negro League Series 1 player. I want the Series 2 ones. So tomorrow in our last segment, we will look at the new missions. That will be the Platinum 2 missions. And we'll take a look at some of the cards that are part of the Roberto Clemente Award hackable cards. We'll see what those look like. Here is a gold. I like the gold. Come on, shine bright. No, a live player. It is a duplicate. And I don't think he's going to improve enough to get up to diamond. So I'm just going to quick sell him. Just so I have those 1,000 perfect points. Okay, nothing else. Let's pull a few more. Again, waiting for another perfect to pull on stream. Here's a second gold. This time it is a future legend. And I don't have this one yet, so that'll be good for the missions. One more pack. I'm going to call a 72 silver in the bottom corner. Not that I'm ever right on these. Hey, a third gold. Even better. What do we got? Yes, a historical. And it is a duplicate. Looks like a utility guy. What's he selling for? Eh, I'm going to list him for a low price of $19.99. Go get yourself a Woody on the card shop for $19.99. If he's still there by the time you watch this episode. All right, we're going to leave it there in this segment. We will be back Thursday night with the new cards, show you what they look like, and update you if we're still in first place. Go Gladiators! Love to see it. This is segment number four of the episode and the last segment before it gets posted up. So you should see this at some point on Friday how are you guys doing? It is late Thursday night. The new cards missions have been announced in Perfect Team 23 by the one and the only Dishnet. You can see the little video clip playing up in the corner as I go through this segment of the video and see some of the cards that you can now get in packs. And I will be opening some a little bit later. How are our gladiators doing in Gold 301? Last time we were comfortably in first place. Today, as of right now, with a couple more days to go, we are comfortably in first place. 79 and 28. Magic numbers down to 29. We're 7 and 3 in the last 10 games. We are cruising in gold, which means we'll probably get knocked out in the first round. Team stats, we are third in runs against. We are first in bullpen ERA. Good to see. Like to see all those green numbers and the Gladiator logo there. We are third in batting average and second in runs scored. Stat-wise, we only have one player on the leaderboard here, and that is Tournament Frank Baker. I wanted to give him a shot. I said I'm going to keep him in the lineup. And in gold, he is hitting 331. He is second in the league, only to Shoeless Joe Jackson. So way to go, Frank Baker. Unexpected surprise. Our pitching staff, Kevin Brown, Jim McCormick, Vida Blue, Randy Johnson, and Mark Pryor are our starters. Look at Randy Johnson. Brought him in last segment. He is 6-1 and one in gold. He already has had nine strikeouts, eight strikeouts. Yeah, he is doing extremely well. Not giving up a ton of runs and a pretty good ERA. So happy with how he started. Again, bought him for quite a few perfect points. So I'm hoping he pays off not only in gold, but up to diamond as we make our way there. Hopefully next season. Best ERA of our starters thus far in the bullpen all guys are doing really well mort cooper who i moved to the bullpen not doing as strongly as i would have hoped and i put him more of a long relief middle relief role see if he can improve his era hitters 
Who's our best war guy? It is Joe Morgan. Perfect Joe Morgan is leading the way in war. Richie Ashburn, Frank Baker, and Willie McCovey are the top four. Home runs, it is Willie McCovey and Hank Aaron. And stolen bases, really only two guys to speak of, Richie Ashburn and King Kelly. Average-wise, nothing really outstanding other than, as I said, Frank Baker. We do have Willie McCovey hitting 322 and Richie Ashburn 330. I will take that. And the last guy in the 300s is Cal Ripken Jr. Struggling a little bit. Our righties, of course, Hank Aaron hitting 257 and Paul Hines 225. But I have them in for their defense and for their bat, or their defense and uh, for their positional play, I guess, which is defense, right? Yeah, so I got them in for their defense, especially Paul Hines. Well, let's see if we can pull some of those new cards out of the packs to end off this episode. We're going to pull. We'll see how it goes. Maybe 10, maybe 15, maybe 20. Hoping for a gold like we got. Is it a new gold? No, it is Juan Soto. Don't have him yet, so I'm not going to quick sell him. Nothing there. Except the guy with the long hair. All right, come on. I know those new cards are there. I'll even take the platinum cards. Platinum or perfects, diamonds. I'll even take a historical silver. Not hitting much. I can imagine tons of pack are being opened tonight with these missions. And we finally have a diamond. What's it going to be? It is a... Okay, Future Legend. Again, I don't have that one. Might work his way in the lineup. Possibly. Can play a lot of different positions. Really good power. More of a DH type. Okay, we'll see uh, how things go. But he is a right-handed batter, and I am favoring lefties this season. So he won't make his way in the lineup this year. Okay, still haven't hit a Platinum or... Have not hit a new card. Build a lineup, Joe Morgan, so we're starting low. Come on. Give me just two. Give me two of them, of those new cards. Got another gold. Got another diamond. Got another perfect in the vault. Come on, OOTP. You're on stage. You're in front of viewers on YouTube. I want to influence people to buy the game and play the game. Where's the good cards? Well, maybe I need some good vibes from the viewers. Come on, viewers. Some good vibes. Everyone focus. Gold historical. Gold. Any gold. Garbage. Well, I don't think we're going to hit much. We're going to hit a few more packs, see what we can do. Still have over 300 of them. Finally, our first platinum card, but it's only a 41 rated one. Not going to help too much. Okay, running out of time on these packs. We've got four more, three more. Yeah. Yeah can't believe I did not hit much other than the two golds and the diamond. Nothing really came out of these packs tonight, and all of them were live players. Duplicate. What's he selling for? Bare minimum. So we'll quick sell him. Don't think he's going to go up to a diamond. All right, here we go. Last pack. Let's hope for a 84 gold in the bottom corner. 84 gold? No. 40. Worst possible card you can get. Can't believe it, guys. Those were horrible pulls. I'm sure a lot of people were able to pull some of the new cards, some of the platinum cards. We weren't able to do that today. But look at all these packs that I still have. Some to be opened in future episodes. Others to be opened possibly when I start live streaming on Twitch in a couple weeks. 
Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the time off if you have it off. It's a great day for baseball. Summer's still here. Almost the fall. A couple days before we get to autumn. Enjoy the warm weather while you can. And don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hope you pull some good packs for your team. We'll see you in the playoff episode. I have a pretty good suspicion the Gladiators are going to be there. 